everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2. I think what we were supposed to be doing next, so we're building the workshop, that's going to take eight days, but um, and then we get more, more power and we can do some upgrades and stuff, but I think what I was planning to do next was uh, to finish making contact with uh, Eastern Europe, because we haven't done that yet, and then make contact with East Africa, and then we go and we might pick up a supply drop on the way, honestly. But um, uh, is there anything else that we've left behind? There's a couple of alien alloys laying around. Uh, there's some crystals down there. Yeah, but not an awful lot. I don't know if these expire actually at some point, but um, uh, the, the supply drop definitely, I need to pick that up. Um, actually, we're almost there. I mean, it's three days. It's June 22nd now. Uh, either way, we're not going to be making contact with the final uh, final black site in East Africa. Maybe we'll just pick that up and then uh, hop over and finish making contact. Avenger yeah, so. plotting new course. So uh, three quick days to to pick up the supplies while they're here, because I really don't know if these if these expire and I could kind of use them. This will prove to be an important step forward. Okay, so we've gotten some more intel. Um, I await your orders, Commander. And we do have... Oh, hmm. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. We are having a reinforced light, uh, light armor breakthrough, and we've got an inspired data cache. How are we in intel? 88. Um... The problem is if I don't use, I have to use either of them. I don't think the, I can use both of them. So, uh, light armor development plus one HP going forward sounds good. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure if this affects the nanoscale vest thing that I'm, I'm wear, I'm carrying, um, or if this is this is uh, this is a specific type of armor that I'm just not using. <laughs> what, are we go what to do, what to do. Um, and then data cache encryption, decryption, two days. Now yeah, we'll go with the armor. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Although I had so realistic it's... expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Oh, I'm sorry that the ship is shaking and that it causes trouble for your research, but uh, that's just how these things go. All right, uh, two more days on the supply drop. And we're done with that. Um, okay. And now we can head over and finish making contact in Setting Eastern course Europe. For Eastern and then Europe. it's probably going to be the end of the month already anyway. So let's head over there. And make contact. Uh, so the, uh, the assassin and who was it? I think the hunter were were were, um, were sharing intel. Okay, this is something that there's something we can't really do anything about. So uh, no, that's not what I want. Those who so have given their lives today have done so in defiance of the elders. Okay, no wasn't that the one the we countered? Embrace. I thought we countered the unknown chosen because. We had the other two that were they were sharing intel, and we count we picked the mission to counter the um, we count we, we picked the mission to counter the the chosen action. I thought that was the one we countered. That is interesting. Okay. These chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture. Yes, I you, know. They're spreading terror throughout the resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plans. Yeah, once we've taken down the site in, in Africa, then we're going to go after the uh, 
after the assassin and see if we can take her out for good. So let's complete that for now. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Uh, okay, we've got an engineer. And uh, some people have uh, got... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Jonas got some more will. Yes, that was good. Okay, we've got another engineer. Uh, we'll see... And we can put another corporate action. I really want to. I really want to uh, to to upgrade this so I can run two at the same time. What do we do? Um, we can get a facility lead. That would be kind of nice. Um, but we also we also at some point need to increase the faction influence with the other two. Uh, do we need the facility lead? We can get there by normal means, but it would just allow us to get there quicker. What's the alternatives? Um, oh yeah, I, I really wanted another Reaper. That was something that I really wanted. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, high risk of ambush. Ooh. Um, we can negate the, the, the wound, but we can't negate the, um, the ambush risk. So... Well, if I want a Reaper, it's go I'm going to have to go through. Uh, who are we going to send? Uh, who can we spare? <laughs> Who's not too tired? Um, we could send Mox and Kasumi, I guess. Uh, hang on, what was the benefit? Dodge plus six. So definitely, uh, definitely a frontline fighter. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Mox might might be a decent fit for that because everybody everybody down here is is tired anyway. Um, Jonas potentially as well. I could send I could send um, I could send Jonas and Ella again I guess. Um, dodge. Dodge be kind of useful for Jonas, because he's a melee fighter. Yeah, we'll send Jonas again. Screw it, we'll send him again. Uh, he just went, but um, I think it was him and Ella going last time, right? I think... S was it? I think so. Because I didn't have Ella available... I uh, didn't have Ella available at the, m at the last mission. Yeah, Monique was on the last mission. Uh, so Ella and Jonas are going, and uh, that leaves a high ambush risk, but uh, we're just going to have to deal with it when we get there. All right, confirm. And that should give we'll us a second leap. Done. That would be Don't amazing. Worry, Commander. Okay, back to making contact. And let's see if we can finish that up and then start with, um, with the African area. That's complete. So I want that side. I, I want I want all these facilities out of the way so I can start doing some of the other missions. Hello. It us. I'm still concerned about that UFO hovering over me. New regional contacts located. Yep, I know, I know. Okay, now we're not going back to HQ. We're going to start making contact with East F Africa. Uh, because that's where the... We've got one more contact that we can do, and that's where the... Um, that's where the thingy is. Um, the facility. So let's hit let's hit that. 60 intel. Yeah, I've got enough intel for now. So Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. Yes, I know, Dr. Shen. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Gonna take seven days, but um, that'll enable us also to. We're quite fascinating. All right, uh, what have we got? Uh, okay, I'm um, lightest variants. Yeah, this this tells me the same thing, but I don't know what it exactly it does. Oh, we've still got the inspired on the data cache. All right, then we might as well. Just I will do that. make that our highest priority. So that'll refill the intel that we've just spent, and. Um, uh, yes, we, we will get more power and more contacts once we have the workshop complete. 
But uh, now, for, for now, I just want to focus on this facility. Workshop. Thanks, Commander. The new workshop will do just Aha. fine. There we go. Perfect. So... We now have the workshop. So this is actually for Dr. Shen. Um, so we can put... Uh, we can put an engineer in here. We've got two engineer avail engineers available, so we'll put one in here. And that gives me two two gremlins. So I've basically got one one free one free engineers, which means I can now put one into power relay. That should be uh, yeah. So she's got two gremlins. So she's available. She's effectively uh, doubling herself. So we can put one gremlin here, and that gives us gives me more power. And I can put one into resistance comms. Um, and I can put the other gremlin in there. Okay, so now we've got, uh, we've got, yes, perfect. So that's complete. Um, what was the next thing we needed to do? Uh, bup, 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 bup. We've got a couple of empty, uh, we've got a couple of empty spaces now. So we can actually start building some more stuff. What is it that we... Okay, I, I did want to... No, I did want to upgrade the resistance ring. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. So if we upgrade that, that costs me two power. And that should give me a second... Um, a second covert action, right? We already have forces deployed on a covert yes. action, Commander. We won't be able to initiate another what? operation until the current one is complete. What? I thought that's what it did. Unlock an additional slot for XCOM to assign resistance orders. Did did I not just do that? Covert actions. Can I do another one? Um, Central, I'm not sure you understand me here. Um, uh, okay, what what is it that we could do? We could do the um, increased faction influence. With, uh, with the Templars, because that'll give us additional bonus thingies. So, there's nothing really... Uh, we don't need the... We don't need a facility lead. Um, we c uh, Yeah. I think, yeah, we'll do that. Hunt, hunt the Warlock. Uh, why is it unavailable? Okay, I don't understand this. I just upgraded this. Do I need to upgrade it again? I did this one, right? Unlock an additional slot for XCOM to assign resistance orders. Was it? Oh, that's not covert actions. Oh, okay. I think I misunderstood this. This is the resistance orders, not the covert actions. The resistance orders was the um, was the the buffs we are getting. So we can always only run one covert action. Okay, I might have misunderstood this. Oh, well, it's still a good thing, though, but okay, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, what facilities do we need to build? Uh, we need to build that shadow chamber, but we don't have enough power for that. Uh, we do need to build the training center thing. I don't think we need another resistance comms. We're going to need more power, but we are already working on a power coil down there. So while that's ongoing... I'm not sure if we need another resistance comms, or if one is enough and we just keep upgrading it. But it's now... Can we still upgrade it? Hang on. Uh, resistance comms. Uh, we can... We cannot upgrade it anymore, right? 125 supplies and 4 power. Okay, we don't have enough power to do this. Uh, okay, we're gonna need more power, but we can still further upgrade the resistance comp, so this might actually be enough. Um, I thought I... yeah, I've got a gremlin, and I need an upgrade here to, to increase the power more. Okay, 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 lots of things. Well, what we can do, however, is build something... Um, I tr we do need to build this shadow chamber. The thing is, we don't have enough power. So maybe we'll hold off on that and uh, have a look over at engineering and see if there are any upgrades. That Just are give pending. the word and I'll get started, Commander. Um, also, we still have stuff in the proving ground that we need to do. Ooh, so many things. Uh, weapons upgrades. Um, we could get the the pistol upgraded, I guess. Um, 
Okay. <sighs> At least that would be something for all our all our snipers. Um, maybe. Okay, we'll do this one. What armor upgrades do we have? Oh, we can still upgrade the nanoscale vest. Uh, this should already have gotten better from the last thing we did. Um, 30 supplies, two, cr two, two corpses. Yeah, sure, let's do this. Oh no, this is building one. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm not building items. I want to... Oh yeah, because it's... Okay. Never mind, never mind. It's fine. I could use one more anyway. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. No, I, I was thinking of upgrading things because the upgrades and the actual building things is in the same slot so uh, this I don't need because I don't have any of those okay let's do the pistol upgrade so that's done but then I think I'm caught up at one up with point upgrades. I thought about okay. trying to bring in an advent mech to see if we could integrate the gremlin AI the idea being to bolster our staff with robotic assistance I eventually decided not to bring it up to central or Tigan at least not until things settle down some hmm why not? <laughs> having a having more mechs would uh, be a good thing. All right, let's continue then in our in our efforts here of making contact. Okay. There will be no stronghold, no bastions to serve your fledgling resistance. So she's also decreasing it. Crumble. I don't like this. Why are they? Why do they get the to do that? The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. So this isn't from the dark events thing that I was thinking it was going to be. This is from. This is from. Uh, they're doing that anyway. So they do these retribution things all the time, which means I really need to take these out because they keep reducing my income, which is not cricket. Okay. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Okay, we've got another 64 intel, Commander. so we've got that sorted. Which means we can now... Um, I wonder if I should just burn through a couple of these quickly. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not good. They, they all don't take long. At least the, at least the one day... Uh, the one day researches might be quite useful and then we can get back to plasma weapons knowing that my so past surgical experience is limited I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen advent forces before triaging our own wounded to the uninitiated the common advent trooper is seemingly human the aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet Okay, so that's uh, I that's certainly happening. admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well-armed, well-trained enemy, and yet they never waver in their loyalty to the cause. Okay. Which means we can continue to the bridge and continue. Another, Another important step yep. forward in our research. Despite a thorough analysis, I have yet to discover what if any advantage the advent hybrid soldiers enormous eyes provide testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult yeah on account of them being dead once you get them uh, don't you start do going all dr valen on me and ask me to bring one in alive uh, we can now build a battle scanner um i think this is one of the gremlin capabilities anyway that uh that one of my hackers was having it provides extra vision Deployed like a grenade, um, will be reve will reveal. Yeah, this works like the gremlin skill. Okay, good. Uh, good to know that this is a thing that I can do. The tourists do the turret. employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. Yep, you hand that over to Dr. Shen when you're done. Okay. And we continue... Continue on. We have a positive confirmation on an emergency signal coming from the site of our most recent covert action. Our team was ambushed and needs an evac. Firebrand is already en route. 
Yeah, that was uh, that was to be expected. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, emergency extractions. Uh, we've got lost, but we've got fewer advent. Uh, there's not a lot of them. And uh, extended timer. Okay, let's begin the rescue. Yeah, that, that was almost that was almost expected. Uh, because that, that was a high chance of an ambush, but uh, if we we pull it out, we do manage to get a we do manage to get a um, an additional uh, reaper, which is going to be great. Because these these guys are really really useful. Uh, right, I could do with another Templar as well. Um, not really feeling the, the use of Mox quite yet as much, but uh, the Templars are pretty cool with their melee attack, and the Reapers definitely as scouts are pretty pretty amazing. So having a second one when Elena is tired is, is a pretty good thing. All right. What are we looking at? So we've got Jonas and someone. And we get, need to get over there. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Okay, we've got Ella and Jonas. Um, obviously there's Lost here, so... And there's gonna be there's gonna be uh, aliens in the in the area. So, well, the two of them are up for a fight. All right, so where do we need to go? So we are obviously in Zombie Town again, and we need to get what was it? All the way over there. But at least we're not on a timer, so we don't need to rush this. Uh, but we can move carefully. Okay, let's get Ella into some semblance of cover. And uh, just move in the general direction of where we need to go. Bien sûr, en route vers la cible. I should have. I didn't know that this was going to be a lost mission. I would have brought a sniper along. That would have been a good idea. Okay, let's leave her on Overwatch. We'll, we'll move carefully and um, give it give each other cover here as much as we possibly can. And let's leave him in Overwatch as well. I'll keep a watchful eye. Oh, we've got reinforcements coming in. Okay. The elders Break send one. more your of their minions. Compromised. We're picking up advent response forces inbound on your position. Okay, so since we know where they're coming from, let's set up an ambush for them then. And uh, ambush them right back. Uh, ideally as far away as possible. This might, Although I don't want to trigger any... I don't want to trigger any... Um, I'm going to set up Ella in the rear. And Jonas can go in and um, and take them head on with, with his melee skills. So we're going to set up Ella here. Bien compris. J vais. Okay, I'll leave here, her on overwatch. En cours. And Jonas can... Uh, Jonas can get... Um, into some form of cover here. So hang on, so when they're dropping, we get our overwatch shots off, and then it's our turn. So yeah, this this should be good. Okay, let's see what they're dropping on us. Uh, so, Jonas and Overwatch. Okay, there they come. That looks like two, two troopers, or a trooper and an officer. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so these guys are now going to move. The forces of the occupation. Which means we should be getting overwatch shots off at them, yeah. So Jonas missed, and Ella missed. Okay, that could have gone better. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so now it's my turn. Um... Okay, who do we target first? We've got uh, we've got an advanced trooper, and we've got an advanced officer. Uh, Jonas, uh, he's not going to be able to kill the trooper, and obviously not going to be able to kill the officer. But um, I could get uh, Ella into a better position, although this is compromised by the trooper, so that's not ideal. Uh, this would be compromised, unfortunately. Um, this would not be compromised, but she's not going to have a great chance of hitting him. 
I don't want to use explosives because there's lost around. So yeah, unfortunately Ella is not the greatest um, greatest person here to take. Uh, okay, who are we going to target first? I was really hoping that our Overwatch shots would have been doing something and we could have just taken one down. Um, Rend is not going to give me any bonus damage. Uh, trooper and Officer. We could try to take the Trooper down first. Um, can I get Ella into a better position from where she can... I could move her around here. But it's not going to give her a flanking shot at the at the Trooper either. Um, I could move her topside, I guess. Uh, is that going to do me any good? Uh, not going to get me any flanking positions. And obviously, once these guys are moving, that's a bit of an issue, so... Okay, let's move Ella back here. That is a better position, slightly better position, and she will still have... Uh, no, she's not gonna have shots at the trooper from there. Okay, hang on, this doesn't work either. Uh, from here, she would have shots at the trooper. Yeah, so this is as close as she can get while still having shots at the trooper. All right, so we'll begin with that. Okay, Jabuz. Opening up the distance a little bit. It's still not a great chance, but um, let's see if she can take him. And I think she just took him out. Nice. Okay, well done, Ella. Uh, that leaves me with the officer. Now, the problem, obviously, is that Jonas is not going to be able to kill him with Rend. Uh, it triggers momentum and generates focus on kills. Right. But it, it does trigger the momentum skill, so he can he can get in there, do the rend, and then he should be able to get a parry, right? Let me let me double check that. Uh, parry. After attacking with rend, prevent all damage from that. Yes, perfect. So since it's only one left, I can just do a rend attack on this guy, and then do the parry. A focused strike of power. Okay, so that's five damage to him. And now he can do the he can do the parry because there's only one of them left. Uh, that attack is going to is going to fail, so he's moving actually, and is attacking Jonas obviously, but he parries that shot. Yeah, nice. They come for me. And now he can uh, not kill him with rend, but uh, we can now start moving uh, start moving Ella into position again, where she's got a flanking shot at him, and she can just take him off. All right, and that's a flanking shot at the officer, so she should be able to just take him out and be done with it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Right. Okay, cool. Which means... Yeah, you're out of ammunition. I, I think that's what she said. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, let's uh, join the two up and start moving again. So we're going to get uh, Jonas over here. And leave him on Overwatch. I am watching. Okay, yeah. The lost, the lost are coming. Um, all right. So we need, we need to, we need to defeat whatever swarms coming in here. So let's get Ella over here. Okay. And get her to reload. And Jonas stay, uh, remain on Overwatch. Um, I could. I don't know if they can jump because there are two ladders that I might be able to block off if we get on top of this container. I might try that actually. Unfortunately, uh, hang on. Oh no, he can't get up there because Ella is there. So that would okay. Well, we'll just leave them downstairs for now. Uh, so pistol for him. Begins. Let's see where these guys are showing up. Yep, there they come. Okay. Oh, it's just five of them. That's all right. We can take five. Any Overwatch trigger? No. Okay. So can we get Ella topside over there? Yes, we can. So we get her topside here. She has shots at the lost from there, so she can start taking them out. So let's um, take out one. Take out two. 
There should be two more. And take out three. And then she can do it. Okay. I think there are two more. But I'm not 100% certain. So what I'll do now... I just want to try if this works. I'm going to get Jonas on top here, which is the second ladder. Instead of running in there. And I'm going to leave him on pistol overwatch in case anyone shows up. Okay. Where are the lost? There they come. Alright, there's two more of them, I think. Yeah, there they come. Two more of them. Okay, Jonas did not get a reaction shot. But um, Ella can literally take them out. Actually, Jonas can probably rend this guy. And that gives him a focus point. So that's a good idea. So let's start with that. Feel the power of the Templars. Alright, so he's done. And then I can just uh, I can just leave him on parry. And then Ella can just kill the other guy. Yep, there he goes, he's dead. Then I can get Ella reloaded, and then we can move next to him. Uh, reload. And stay on Overwatch. Okay. Careful does it. There's still there's still advent around, but uh, Okay, for now we're good. So, Jonas. Let's get Jonas to scout and Ella to provide backup. Uh, we're going in the right direction here, so... Uh, this is no cover, unfortunately. Shall we go around the other side? Can't really, there's a car in the way. Uh, let's move over here into cover. Okay, nothing spotted. I'll leave him on pistol overwatch. I'll keep a watchful eye. And then Ella can come down and we cover each other just in case an uh, anybody trips us. Alright. Vigilance. Uh, vigilance, definitely. Okay, and we get more lost. That's okay. As long as they come in small, in small packages, I can deal with them. Uh, where can we go? Uh, none of this is cover. Um, we need to move this direction, so I don't know from which direction they're going to come, so we're going to have to work together once again. Uh, Jonas possibly... Uh, is there a top side? Can we do the top side jump again? Yes, we can do the top side gag again. Although that is a ladder. Okay, so we need to block off that ladder. So we'll move Jonas up here. Okay. Oh crap. Uh, that could be there. <laughs> That's a bit of an issue. We've got a mech. Okay, so we do need to do something about the mech. Um, okay, we don't have the lost yet. The lost are going to come in next turn. Jonas is exposed. So what I can do is I can move Ella up. Uh, where she would be in cover and has a shot at the mech. Uh, this would work. Alternatively, I can move her top side. No, she, uh, she doesn't have enough. But she can shoot the mech from there. Then she's on an elevated position. And then I can get Jonas to rend it and then um, and then do, uh, do the parry. Okay, let's do that. Let's get her top side. And then she can open up on the mech. Or maybe she can just take it out, that'd be awesome. Okay, two dam uh, five damage to, to hit the armor. But that means Jonas is going to be able to just rend it, right? Uh, yes. So, so because, he's got, because he's got focus, his rend is actually getting more powerful. The only question is, do mechs explode? Um, he could just shoot it. No, not rent. What if he just shoots it? Uh, that is three to four damage, so that he would have to have a high damage roll. No, I'm not gonna. I can't remember if mechs explode um, because he's obviously in melee range. The problem is if the pistol shot doesn't kill it because it's it's a 50/50 chance, then uh, the mech is gonna be 
It's gonna be grenading both of them. No, I have to rend the mech. Okay, rend the mech. If it explodes, it explodes. But it means Jonas gets a parry. Okay, it did not explode. So that's good. Um, Jonas gets a parry. He gets plus one focus from the kill, and he gets the parry. So his rend keeps doing more and more damage, which is perfect. Okay, there come the lost. And once again, it's a group of five, so it's not an awful lot of problems. Uh, I might actually be able to take those, to be honest. Uh, let's get... Let's get uh, Ella into position topside. From where she can actually shoot them. And then start unloading at these guys. She can at least take two out of them. So, so you can take one down. It's one dead. Um, she can... Let's take the high health ones down first. Uh, this is three hit points. This one's got five hit points. So let's kill that guy. Alright. And then she can... Reload. Because now Jonas, who's got two actions, should be able to... Uh, what is this? Uh... Can jump to nearby units, cost one focus. Okay, um, that might work. I mean, there's three of them left. But what I'm thinking is I'm just going to... His pistol does three to four and and uh, takes and has no, uh, no ammo capacity limit. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna headshot that guy. He's dead. Um, and then he can headshot that guy. he's dead and then he can rent the, the remaining one and uh, once again parry for uh, for any incoming attacks so let's do that. For my people. That. that gives him the f uh, gives him the focus and he can parry and we're safe again all right next oh another mech all right so cool Mech has spotted us, and Mech is moving into position in the house. Okay. All right. Good to know. Uh, I am thinking of falling back with Jonas because he's quite a bit—he's quite a bit ahead right now—and getting uh, laying an ambush here for for the Mech. So Ella, being up here, this is a bit far away. Honestly, uh, does she have a decent ambush position somewhere down there? Okay, let's see first. So Jonas can see the mech. I could just move ahead with him and rent him, honestly. Because he's not going to kill it, but it's just one mech. The problem is if it's not just one mech. <laughs> so I don't want to risk that. That is, a bit, uh, that is a bit too aggressive. So what I'm going to do instead is I can move Jonas here. Uh, no, further back, further back. So we move Jonas back here. That should be way out of... Um, can I get him into a position where he can actually shoot? No. I'm just going to put him here and put him on overwatch once the mech moves out. Uh, let's fall back a little bit because they're two separated right now. Alright, so that's Jonas in, a, in cover and we'll leave him on pistol overwatch. I am watching. And then uh, Ella can sort of remain on this elevated position, although she is exposed up here. So maybe we'll move her here and then leave her on overwatch. Okay. It's not it's not ideal because she's a little bit far away. Now let's see let's see what the mech's doing. With a squad of two, we gotta be a little bit more conservative. Okay. Uh, Jonas misses the pistol shot. I must concentrate. Yeah, that'd be nice. And the mech is shooting at Jonas? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh that no, he's suppressing Jonas. Okay, can I get now the question is, can I get uh, Ella into position to do something about the mech suppression? Unfortunately, that isn't the case. I thought she would have had shots at him from up here, but um, I can't get into a position where she can assist Jonas there. Uh, she might be able to flank around, but it's going to take her two turns. Jonas can't move because he's being suppressed, and I want to have Ella in Overwatch um, 
once the, the, the mech shows up. I can't move her too close because then the mech's gonna just unload with a grenade launcher. So let's move her down here then. Okay, I will leave her in overwatch. And um, Jonas is being suppressed right now, right? Uh, will be shot if attempting to move and, uh, and reduced aim. Um, I mean, he could still try to hit him, but it wouldn't be doing an awful lot anyway. So, I can't move, so I can't rend. And he's got the aim penalty. Uh, I will leave him on... I can't leave him on Overwatch. So I might as well try to take a shot. Uh, and see what it does. If we can do a little bit of damage, that'd be great. Okay, it did one damage. Not, aw not awesome, but it is something. So what's the mech gonna do next? So I can't move him. So he, the mech's moving out. And Ella did not get a reaction shot. And he's once again suppressing. And we've got uh, we've got lost coming. Okay, so we need to take this mech out. This mech's annoying. Uh, let's move Ella up ahead. And unload at the mech. And see if she can just take it out. Okay, that's the mech down, perfect. And we've got Lost incoming, so I'm not gonna move Jonas out of this position because I don't know where they're coming from. And uh, just leave him on pistol overwatch for now. I'll maintain my watch. Okay, there they come. Means Jonas gets a reaction shot. And he misses. Unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. And once again, we've got five of them. Okay. So, that's full cover. So let's start moving Ella ahead a little bit. How far are they? Uh, it should be all right. Let's move Ella ahead a little bit. And she gets shots at two of them. So she can take out those two. If she can hit them, that is. There's one down. And... I'm gonna try the second one. That's two down, and now she needs to reload, so that's all her... That's all she can do this turn. And then we get Jonas into action. We've got three of them left. Uh, this is gonna do two to five damage, but it's going to jump, so this might actually... Um, I don't know how, how many is it going to jump to. Can we determine that? Um, jumps to nearby units at higher focus levels. Okay. Uh, let's see if this works. I'm curious. So, uh, it should be able to take out all of them if we do enough damage. But otherwise it would... Eh, hmm. so that's the problem here. I could move him up, up ahead and he would have pistol shots at them. He can take, take out at least one with a pistol. And then he could still have a second attack with that. Yeah, let's move him up. Alright. And he's still got one move left. Um, so he could... Which one is guaranteed a kill with a pistol? Uh, this one's a guaranteed headshot. So let's just get, kill this guy because that's a free action. So he's dead. And then we attempt... I mean, it has to have a five damage roll for that to work, unfortunately. Um... He could just... Oh, no, no it's easy, easier. He's, he can just rend the other one and then parry. Yeah. So let's rend one. Because he, he... The other attack would not have been a guaranteed kill. So now he could just rend one and then he can parry the, um, the return attack from the other lost. Yeah, that's parried. And then he can just rend that guy as well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Jonas... Just uh, kill that, kill that dude. My okay, he dead. And then he can still stay on parry in case anything shows up. And then Ella can freely move into position next to him. And we are getting closer. Right. There's still, there's still Advent around here somewhere. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, the loot expired. I know, I know. I, I may have been able to put it up, but I'd, I'd rather be safe here <laughs> and not stumble upon something and get my people killed. Okay. Uh, Jonas. Um, this would be cover. And we're almost at the... We're almost at the... Yeah, let's move him out. We're almost at the evac zone. Okay. Uh, we have spotted... Oh, it's a it's a flamey dude. No, these do explode when they... Um, and he got he just got out of cover. Okay. These do explode when they... Uh, when they die. So I really have to be careful here. Unfortunately, I can't get Ella into... Into cover. I can get her into cover here. No, I have no position from where she could get into cover. So she may have to take a shot from here, uh, even though it's a low chance. Um, but she might be able to take him out. I could move her out in the open, but then she's in within range of the flamethrower and she doesn't have any cover and whatnot. Um, okay, so if she misses, Jonas, Jonas could one shot him with a rent. The problem is um, he's gonna he's gonna explode. <laughs> he could try to hit him with a pistol, which is not gonna kill him. Okay, I'm gonna shoot with Ella from here. We may have to fall back a little bit with Jonas in case she misses. So let's see if she can hit him from here. And she just takes him out. Nice. Wait, he doesn't explode? I thought these guys exploded when they, you know, died. That's weird. Okay, uh, in that case, uh, we'll leave Jonas on Overwatch. Don't want to separate the squad. And, okay, so nothing happened. So that was the last of the advent troops. Okay, perfect. So we can move Ella all the way up to that car over there. Okay, je bouge. And then Jonas in this position and leave him on overwatch in case anything shows up. Okay. That's that. Yeah, we've got another lost swarm, but I don't think we have to wait for that. We can just get everybody evac'd right now. Alright, that's one. And Jonas get into evac as well. And then we got the two of them out of there. I would say they two make a good team, right? They two the two of them make a pretty good team. Time for me to go. You can be friends. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get the two of them out of there. That was good work. That was pretty good work. All members of Wraith One have been successfully evac. Flawless victory. All right. I'm thinking of of, of pairing Jonas with uh, demo with uh, Grenadier because she can do demolition which will allow him to get closer to or to get into melee attacks of targets uh, that are then exposed so uh, it's a nice combination aliens to turn a planet into a halloween theme park zombie swarms just what we needed that's fine okay so um ella gets promoted so she's gonna go down um what makes sense uh demolition Demolition or um, or heavy gun. I mean, Shredder is kind of nice as well because she she could be able to take off armor from uh, from armored targets and make it easier for Jonas to get them killed. Demolition would make it easier. Um, yeah, we're going. No, we're going down heavy guns. So uh, she can go down demo, and uh, then that's that. Okay, Jonas. What can he get? He can get um, deflect. Uh, there's a chance to deflect incoming shots, completely avoiding the damage. Deflect has a 30% chance, increased by 10%. Okay, uh, that sounds great. What's the alternative? Channel. Enemy dies, it may leave behind energy that he can pick up. Uh, okay, to raise the focus level. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see where this goes, but um, I think I like Deflect better. I think I'm going down the uh, aggressive assaulter here with, uh, with, with him. I, I like that, I like that idea. All right. uh, no items required? Yes, because we let that loot expire. I was probably overly cautious there. I honestly could have picked that up. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. 
So we now got uh, Lieutenant Ming Shu, who is our new. I'm leader. not all that happy about it, but one of my best people has decided to come join your crew after that last covert action. Huh? Okay, I'm very happy about that. Okay. Um, so let's new. Let's get a new covert action going. Uh, what do we need? Um, honestly, uh, we could. We can just start the warlock thing here. I think that's a good one. So, uh, and then somebody gets Will. Um, that would again be useful for Jonas, I guess. But uh, Jonas is, I think, getting tired at this point. Uh, he's at seventy-four percent. We can send our new one out. Um, so we can send our. We've got a lieutenant here. Uh, first, okay. Um, so we can send her here. And that will give her. Let's get that. So, did we need to take that mask of her? Um, and we're gonna need a sergeant here. Who can we send? Uh, dum, 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 dum. Uh, let's send. Who do we have? Uh, Monique. Monique can go. Oh, Chris is Chris isn't tired anymore either. Uh, yeah, let's. Let's send, uh, let's send Chris out. Okay, Chris and Ming. Actually, no, let's not send Chris out because I want to pair up Chris and Lillian. Oh, would well, that make sense? Shall I send Lillian and Chris? Uh, Lillian is a bit tired, but I think we could send her. Okay, so how about we send, we send uh, Lillian, Lillian and Chris. I just want the two of them to be paired up because you know they're the old the old guard here so it, it really makes sense for them to be paired up uh, Chris big time cook all right uh, and he will get plus three will yeah that sounds useful uh, low risk of wound, soldier wounded and we're gonna increase our faction and that we can confirm that and begin that okay. my followers will lead this action to victory and we have a we haven't. We have ourselves another Elena. So let's have a quick look. Ming Shu. First, first of all, she needs to lose that helmet. Um, uh, let's get. Sorry, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just going to customize that quickly. Okay, that looks decent. Now we can check what um, is actually, it turns out to be <laughs> to be someone of the male persuasion. <laughs> I did not know that, I'm sorry. But now he looks, uh, he, he looks the name, so. Um, okay, so he can, uh, he's got one ability, I think, that I can pick. What was that, blood trail? Plus one damage if the target has been wounded. Mm. Or we can remote. I think remote start. I like remote start better. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's that sorted, and we've got ourselves another Reaper. So somebody to uh, assist Elena in her <laughs> in her scouting ability. Why is he? Lo why does he not have? What happened to his arm? Okay, hang on. That I need to fix. Uh, Okay, that looks better. Now, now he just doesn't look like his part of his uniform is missing. All right, decent, and we have ourselves another Reaper. And I would say, what else is this there? What else do I need to look at? Somebody get promoted? Uh, what? What am I missing? Oh, he he has he has more. Okay, he has more things. Um, haven't really used the claymore. Um, plus three damage, plus one radius. But maybe it might be interesting. What's the other one? Unit seen by now. Nah, this is just so. This is just too good. 
Uh, I need a second scout. Yes. Uh, and then he can get needle. Uh, shots taken in shadow have plus two armor piercing. Um, that is kind of nice. Or uh, kill with claymore puts him in shadow. Or Silent Killer. There's not a chance. Okay, so you can. Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Only these killing blows can remain in shadow indefinitely. Mm. Also nice. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go for the armor piercing for change. I think I've taken the other one with Elena. Okay, was that it? Or do I need to upgrade anymore? Are we good now? No. Yes, yes, we're good now. Okay. All right. So I would say that's it for today. Um, and we've made some progress. Next episode, we will be uh, working once again towards hitting the next facility. And then we can finally start picking up the main mission and the, uh, the side quests and all those things. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.